Hello everyone. My name is Michael Young and welcome back to Factoria. So I've been looking at our setup and I'm a little uncertain. Like right now I think it's only working because of how backed up everything is. But it looks as though as though the induction furnace is a problem. Like perhaps we should be having a second induction furnace? Like over here. I could see doing that. Because that looks like the bottleneck on copper. Hmm. It is a concern. It's very much a concern. But anyway, we'll deal with that some other time. We've got glass, we've got silicon, we have all these good things. What we need next is the... Why am I storing the carbon dioxide again? I remember there was a good reason. I don't remember what it was, though. What was that? That's, that's a byproduct of the limestone, which is for making glass. Why am I doing that? Yeah, we were saying we could eventually turn it into... what? Methanol? And from there, we'll be able to turn it into many things. A better way of making boards. So that's interesting. This would make acetic acid. Methan oh, so carbon dioxide makes methanol, right? Wait a minute. Yeah, carbon dioxide makes methanol. And then methanol and carbon monoxide and water makes acetic acid. With the same catalysts, these aluminum silver catalysts. And acetic acid we use to make plastic. Should I consider that as an alternate route to getting the plastic? I mean, I, I kind of forget what we were doing with plastic, but we had it set up somewhere over here. This needs more carbon monoxide to make acetic anhydride, which again is for making the cellulose acetate. Which makes no that that okay. I need sulfuric acid. Cellulose acetate, which is again plastic with acetone, which comes from pulp. This is like I don't know the whole gas and farming and things. It seems like it just kind of goes around and around. Like there's not like a clear way to get the things I need to get. Why is this stopped? This is stopped because there's not glass wants to go that way. I see. Can I fix that somehow? Grabbing the lead thing. What is it? Lead oxide? And then use a thing to put it back onto the belt? That's terrible, but... Right. Well, no. This is a better way to do that. So lead oxide is going to be going through here. Slowly. It's not working. There. That will let the lead oxide be on the other side of the thing. So let's use up a little glass. See if that works out. Yeah, that works. That works. When glass is being used, the lead will go faster than the glass will. If that made any sense at all, I don't think it did. But that's okay. Never mind. Okay, I'm getting distracted. I need to refocus. The thing we need next is the lead. We need lead for to combine with the tin. And make um, make solder 
and we need the lead in order to get what is it? The aluminum with it? It's the the crushed rub the rubite chunks, which gives us gold. Right, gold we need. And we need that for many things. We need it for both the blue research and the module research, I think. Right? Not the electrum. Not the wires. Yeah, we need the module contacts. And the blue. On both sides of the blue. Now, apparently for beacons, but that's way ahead. Look at these blue, these black processing units, black circuits. Like I, hmm. that's quite a ways. Yeah, the mo the logic boards where we're gonna need them for. For the higher tier modules. Well, for the level one modules. <laughs> wow, they sure gate the modules behind things. Okay, but that's that's getting ahead of myself. I need to make something that makes rubite chunks. So Let's just think about it this way. So we already said that this much, these many um, crystallizers are able to, uh, well, one ore pressure two is able to not quite deal with all this many. So one ore pressure two is supporting, uh, is generating two crushed rubite per second, per half second. Right? Wait a minute. This is... So we're, it's two crushed rubite per half second. Or four crushed per second. And then to turn it into chunks, we would need... Uh, we're going to do it in a flotation cell. Let's assume we're going to do it in a flotation cell too. So it's going to take two seconds. And each, each, and each, So each of these can handle one crushed rubite or per second. So we need four of them. Maybe? I might be a little confused with my math. But that's fine. Let's just get this starting to lay down. Oops, oops, oops. So we need just this part of it. Are we in range? Where is my nearest? Yes, we're well in range. They don't have enough crystallizers or many things. Yeah, I'm 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 a little worried about this whole setup we're doing because everything is coupled together. Like right now, we're not able to produce more tin because glass is backed up so much. We're not able to produce more glass. Um, well, we could produce more glass. We're not able to... No, that's fine. It's really just a question about glass. I don't know. Oh, I actually have plenty of those. What do I need to make things I don't have? Crystallizers on here. Are the crystallizer twos, I think? No, the crystallizer ones. I have so many of these patterns, we should get rid of them. Okay. And then we need a couple of those. I think we have a couple of those. No, we only have one. And some of the fancy inserters. We are having power problems. Maybe that's what we should go do right now. The solar panels are keeping us good during the day, but our uh, our output has exceeded our ability to um, our requirements have exceeded our output. Let's. 
What am I looking for? I'm looking for some containers. And then we'll need more of these Mark II steam engines. Actually, we already got a bunch. All right, let's go. Let's go deal with that right now. Yeah, our bots are still having trouble. I feel like I feel like the Roboport twos, while having this huge radius, because the bots have to travel so far, they run out of power too quick. Like I really need Mark II bots before we can take advantage. Or at least, I don't know. It feels like it feels like we have um, not many bots taking a long time to do simple things. some of those. Is this still going good? Yeah. Slow them. What's the hold up? It's the, yeah, the copper as usual. We need to redo this kind of thing, where we build all the different circuits way out to the left, because um, we'll need them for blue sides. Is this out of... Yeah, this is out of the, out of the catalysts. Where are they? Green catalysts. Aluminum, aluminium, silver. Which we have up here. Essentially, we're going to do this exact same process, just further out to the west. Silver is somewhere there. Remember to drop those off. Can't, don't want to forget to drop those off when I come back. I guess I could place more windmills instead of what I'm doing, so that during the night, the windmills can help carry the load. They're like not, there's such a small proportion of our total power. Remember when that was the entire power system we had, only windmills, and we'd spend, you know. 20 minutes is building five or six new more, more windmills. Fun times. One more. It must be symmetric. You must have symmetry.
There we go. So now they'll they'll burn far more commonly to fill up this with steam. And then during the day, we'll burn the steam in these excess things. I could even place another row of them, perhaps. We'll see how that turns out tomorrow morning. Ew, it's not really fair today, because, well, I don't know. It's still filling up pretty well. It really was this lack of, um, lack of steam here. Lack of, um, burners, engines. We'll see how high it reaches. Oh, I remember loving these setting all this up. I was imagining having just fields and fields and fields, but, uh, kind of got distracted in a different direction. Kind of like the algae fields. I could imagine them going on like down and down forever. Why are these taking so long? It feels like we have lots of paper. And can it be made to go faster? I don't have any of the yellows on. But they can be had. Looks like we did a lot better that time. Not perfect still. We still need to place some more steam engines, perhaps. But, um, for now that's fine. Alright, this is all stopped because it doesn't have the greens. We never actually put those in a chest, fortunately. So our bots have just been sitting around. Uh, splitters. This is stopped because it doesn't have enough stone. We have lots of stone, but not on me. This finally backed up again. We have a full set of sword panels. I'm gonna let it go for a bit until we're nicely backed up on, on, uh, on all of our circuits. Then we'll go ahead and place a bunch of sword panels. Okay, flotation cells. We, said, we just said we need four. And we're gonna need another of these in our sorting facility. This needs more stone bricks. Not sure I like this. It seems maybe I know we need to scale this up in order to get more oil being produced. I mean we got a lot of a lot of oil right there, but over time I don't think we're gonna have enough oil there. And I certainly would love to get more trees so I can get more wood for time. Alright. 
I still can't make one. I need more steel. I could make a, a Mark III if I wanted to. Brass. But I don't think we're gonna need it. I don't think we're producing fast enough to justify a Mark III. We'll see how it lines up. Alright, let's shift this all over to Rubite. And unfortunately, we're going to need to use more of these guys. a little messy. I'm not sure I like it. Maybe I should just make a new thing like this. Yeah, I think so. No, that's the wrong way. I need the rubite crushed rubite up here. All right. This needs to keep going up. Which it can't because we foolishly got in the way of our uh, rock output. Should have moved this all over. Should I do that now? Let's just move it over a little. Let's move the rock fly. So lazy, so terrible. I know. I'm sorry. I shouldn't even do it this way because each one's balancing in step. I should make there be a master line and then have one that balances for each pair and then have that joined. But I think we're past the point where we can change that up right now. We have to shift everything over like one, one space. All right, my flotation cells now. And they need purified water, so we'll need to make need to get that somehow. And we've got the crystal slurry to deal with. Or not the crystal slurry, the, the geodes. Each of these are producing. How are we gonna do that? Send the chunks one way and the crystals another. Then what to do with them? I mean, presumably we can crush them right here and get more dust. These cyan crystals, geodes. The sulfuric acid just to make them happen. Ah, oh. do I want to do that and make seedlings instead, perhaps? And then we can make the different ores for some reason, or the crystal catalysts.
Like we kind of decided that it was too complicated to do it this way. That's why we're we're not making aluminum ore directly. We're getting it as a byproduct of building the chunks. The only thing to do with this ore is to create hydrofluoric acid, but we can also get that in other ways too, from acid gas, which we have a ton of. Maybe the virtue of this is you get the calcium sulfate. Yeah, this is the only way to get calcium sulfate. And that is used to create sulfur dioxide gas. No, that's, that's not a good thing to do. Why would I want to make that? I need fluorite or... I guess I, I get it as a byproduct of making uranium. Oh, I can... Okay, that's oh, it's a way to get mineralized water from fluoric wastewater, perhaps. That's not what I'm getting from this. I'm getting uh, from the process that makes these is nitric wastewater, which is nothing. It's mineralized water. Which we technically need. We do technically need that. I wonder how closed this is. So like... So four of these operating full time would produce, well one of these would produce 25 nitric wastewater per second. Let's 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 math this out. So one flotation cell would produce 0.5 scion geos and 50 nitric wastewater and do we get anything by processing the chunks we get slag back to yeah but then let's just see this ratio so it would do that in two seconds. So in practice, four flotation cells would produce one geode and 100 nitric wastewater. The one geode could either be turned into 10 slurry or 1.5 crystal dust, which would also turn into a 10 crystal dust is 50, so 1.5 would be 1.5 divided by 10 times 50, 7.5 slurry, which is less, but we don't get the um, the extra rock, the crushed stone. How much stone is that? One cyan geode is one crushed stone. So 10 slurry or 7.5 slurry and one crushed stone are our options. And on the nitric wastewater side, 100 nit nit nitric wastewater is very simply 70, um, well, 20 
mineralized. And the slurry, if we're ignoring the seedlings for now, if we're just going to turn it into, um, into some more sludge, we need 100 mineralized water. And let's see, we would need 100 divided by 35. We would need 2.8 times as much mineralized water as slurry. So that is not enough. We would need, for 10 slurry, we would need 28 mineralized water. For 7.5, We need 21, which is still not enough, but the one crushed stone we're getting is another 10. So that brings you up to 30 mineralized water, which means we could do this and have some excess mineralized water for um, by processing the waste, the nitric waste. What about the purified water requirements? So it needs 50 and produces 50, and the uh, and 100 only produces 70. So we'll need another source of purified water, too. And even then, all we're going to end up with is a bunch of um, more sludge, which we get to speed right back into the system, I suppose. Maybe, kinda, sorta. Do I want to do that? Or do I want to make the seedlings? Which will need more, more purified water still. I don't have a use for these things yet, but I know eventually we will have a use for them. For the alien science. Or maybe not for the alien science. Yeah, blue alien science packs. But that's a that's a ways off. I guess I could just be storing a ton of seedlings right, right here for a little bit. It's kind of it's kind of nicer to do it that way rather than trying to feed it back in as crystallized. I think we'll try that. And I'm going to move this entire thing over. Though maybe I should. Maybe I should move it down. I can see that happening. Where are my flotation cells? Right like that. Like I'm trying to make get some use out of this line without moving it too far. But we need another step. We need this rotation rotation cells. Oh, it's just not getting in the way of it. We'll have to come back and do stuff with your thing. So yes, we'll go ahead and move out this way. Too, too close, too close. Again, too close. Um, send the chunks this way. And the seat and the, uh, 
geodes this way. Alright, let's uh, start piping it up. We'll do put all the pipes down below. Right in the way of this thing, which is great. Um, I'll do it one further down. And we'll put a um, we'll put a water treatment on both sides. I'm thinking this thing's gonna be taller than I want it to be, but I think we're stuck with that. Do I need hydro plant twos? Not yet. I don't think there's not a lot to be produced here. Where are my hydro plants? You know, I could have gone, gone out the top here. In fact, I should have. Let's go ahead and change that up. Um, how am I going to make this work? So we'll need some sort of control. Not from this one, from the other one. So this one needs access to water. It's regular water. Is that flush against the pipes? Yeah, it is. Okay, dude. You're um, giving me a hard time. I'm just trying to lay out some pipes here and you're all fire everywhere. That worked out nicely, surprisingly. Okay, this is going to be taking, creating sul uh, sulfuric waste water. Or sulfur sugar. Psst, not sugar water, salt water. Saline. And we'll get rid of the saline over here. Do I have a clarifier? I don't. Let's go ahead and make one. I need circuit boards. Which really need, means I need copper. And I have the wood. Let's grab some copper. No? No good? What do I need for those again? I need wooden boards, but I can make wooden boards from the wood, right? Maybe not anymore. This recipe cannot be crafted by hand. I see. Oh, fine. So let's just go grab some. How's our power situation doing? Much better. We're actually at capacity during the day now. Very nice. And these are not depleting at all. 
this is starting to fill up, unless we start burning our sulfuric wastewater, um, we're gonna have some troubles. You start using that oil. The music is so quiet. I uh, don't know what the deal is with that. I have it turned up real loud. Sorry about that. These are not connected. Why did I think they would be? This is not necessary because hmm, that was supposed to be the output of an ore storage facility, but that's not there yet. And it won't be here, it'll be somewhere else. Where are those clarifiers? I just made a bunch right there. Saline goes away. Purified comes out. Uh, let's let's add a a valve here, an underflow valve. Which are the best thing ever, by the way. All right, let's get, let's see if it works the, thus far. It's not by any means. Hideous spa spacing on the electro electrical things. Okay, that's not gonna work at all. What was I thinking? Look at that. That's terrible. Don't know what goes to my head sometimes. If anything at all. together. Alright. Uh, I was putting little things, these tanks, with uh, pumps on them. Do I have a pump? Or can a pump be had? Mark 1s, Mark 2s. Go. Let's just see if we get to a chunk and yeah, geode. A 
That's sure quiet. I wonder if I have it turned down. No? No, it's, it's up high. It's just very quiet. This game has odd dynamic contrast. Okay, we have chunks. And some a few geodes. Seems like the nitric wastewater is a little bouncy. It's all stopped. Because we don't have anywhere for the mineralized water to go yet. Okay, but we're making some progress. I think I'm going to take a break there. What is that? Those are green. Yeah, that's cool. We'll go and get that in a moment. Some other time. But anyway, we'll deal with this next time. So thank you everyone for watching. My name is Michael Young. This is Factorio.